Here's a simple app called Simple Math that I've created to demonstrate several um, things that you might want to be able to incorporate into your own apps. This Simple Math app has a left box, a right box, and an add button. And below it, that you can't see it right now, is a label where I can put an answer. And there's a non-visible component called a notifier that I'll be using for some of these examples. Now, looking in the emulator, the way this thing works is I put a number in the left-hand box, like 5. Put a number in the right-hand box, like 6. And I hit add, and those values become 11. One of the um, common problems that you might run across is maybe your user forgets and leaves one of the boxes empty and presses add. Now you're going to get an error message that says the operation plus cannot and, and that went away. We can find it over here in the block editor, I think. Yeah, the operation plus cannot accept arguments five empty string. And that may not make sense to you, but what it's really saying is that you try to do the plus operator and the left box had the value 5, which is cool, but the right box was empty, and you can't add 5 to empty, and so instead of giving you an answer, it gave you a crash. And um, in order to fix that, we have to check and make sure that the user didn't leave either box blank. So if the user left the left box blank, or if the user left the right box blank, we need to complain and not crash. So here's how we do that. We do that by... Um, by using a text thing called is empty and we look in the left boxes text and say is the left boxes text empty well if that's the case we need to complain now I'm gonna duplicate that because I also want to be able to check to see if the right boxes text is empty and I want to put those together because if either one of these is empty then we need to complain and the way we check to see if either one is empty is we use an OR over here from the logic box. So if the left one is empty, or if the right one is empty, then we need to complain. Well, how do we complain? We complain using a notifier, and we do something called show alert, which pops up a little uh, error message down there at the bottom. But the difference is that the, the alert that we're giving can be any text we write. So if I type text, I can give a meaningful error message to the user rather than something about plus and empty string. You must provide numbers in both boxes before pressing add, for instance. Now how do we check to see if this is the case so that we can do this only if we need to complain? We use a control statement that's the if then except if there is a problem then complain but then we need uh, uh, otherwise we need to to do this but we don't want to do this if we complained so we need to modify this if then and add in an else part let's add in an else part now we have a place to plug that so what this all says is if one of these two boxes is empty complain Otherwise, do the math. And we just plug this back in the button and look back over here in the emulator. And now we get you must provide numbers in both boxes before pressing add. It's a much more meaningful um, error message. So I can do 5 and negative 5, and we will get 0. Good deal. So using an if then combined with, in this case, an is empty and a notifier is what I used to make an error message that would help the user decide what to do.